Alright, testing, testing. Hello. Hello, everyone. Good to see ya. Uh, I apologize if the audio is a little loud. Uh, according to my end, it should be okay. So, yeah. Uh, if your ears are bleeding, uh, blame it on Streamlabs. Don't me, not me. Uh, hold on a sec. Oh, God, no. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. But I am still frozen, apparently. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, wait. I know why. Please tell me it didn't. Okay, yeah, it did. All right. I apologize, everyone. Give me just a quick second. Oh, it's been a day. Uh, animes, please don't fail me now. Okay, that's good. It's working. All right, control one. There we go. Oh, God. Hello. Alrighty then. I am here, everyone. Hello. Just give me one quick sec to do a calibration and dab these. Alright then, there we go. Hello. Hi. Oh god, that just yeah, that that is my streams right there. Never prepared, no matter how much time I spend before stream trying to be. Uh yeah, hello everyone. My name is Damos Blend, and I am happy to be here. Hope everyone's having a good day, a good Friday. Uh, mine's been so-so. Uh, good news, found 20 bucks on the ground, which is weird, because I live in the middle of nowhere, so I have no idea where that came from. Definitely not mine. Uh, maybe I pleased the leprechaun, I don't know. Uh, what's up, bad news? Uh, work stuff, and trying to reschedule a bunch of D&D stuff. And, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, trying to reschedule D&D. I don't know what it is about D&D, but it's one of the most infuriating things it seems to try and reschedule. And it's not helped by the fact it's not just one game with six people, but it's four different games we're trying to get rescheduled all to different days, so, but, yeah, it's, oof, it's rough. But, uh, that's not what we're here for. We are here to play Raft, which I am excited about. This is a game I've had my eye on for a while. I'm not usually interested in these types of games, but Raft, I don't know. It's always had an interesting concept to me. And, I mean, like, I don't know. It seems like every single person I've ever seen, like, play this game has had a lot of fun with it. Uh, just an FYI, uh, it seems that this game... Out of all the games I've played, my computer cannot seem to run quite well. I've lowered the settings enough that I think it's in a safe sort of place, but I won't entirely know until I guess I start playing. Right now, Streamlabs not giving me any negatives, which it was for a little bit there, but it looks like those are all ironed out, which is good. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Uh, oh! Yes. Uh, so, uh, just to uh, clarify uh, one quick thing. Well, not clarify. That was a poor choice of words. But I was on Twitter a little bit before uh, starting the stream. And I noticed something that I felt deserved a bit of a shout out. Uh, Kit the Kits. Uh, Katsune. Uh, who she is, uh, or they are. Uh, I'm up. I apologize. Their Twitter does not say the proper pronoun. So, Kit, if you ever see this, I apologize if I mispronounced. But uh, they have apparently uh, just recently been in a car accident, a one which involved a uh, deer, which I'm guessing probably ran out in front of them and utterly destroyed their windshield. Uh, looking at the story, it seems she's okay. Just some damage that's been done to the windshield and fingers crossed there's no extensive damage i myself was just recently in a car accident so i know how much car problems can uh well suck especially deer related ones i've uh, come across them where i live quite often so uh they're never uh they may look cute but they can be a real nuisance on the road so kit best of luck to you Anyone, whether you're watching right now or in the future, like, be it, like, in a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, be sure to, like, show them some love. Like, I, they deserve it. Like, 
it car problems like everyone can relate to they're never fun so if you can just show them even a little bit of love i'm sure they would really appreciate it uh but yeah i just wanted to let that out as someone who can sort of relate to that sort of experience uh but now it is time to play rap so let's get going all right so we're going to do a new world uh let's see what should i call it uh how about just i don't know uh the d world d for deimos not anything else it is deimos no all right all right create world loading world make sure to anchor your raft before exploring okay nice all right, so fingers crossed it just doesn't immediately crash the stream. I did a little test earlier, uh, and it didn't look like it caused any issues, but I won't know until I start. So, yeah, fingers crossed, everyone. Uh, loading. Alrighty. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Alrighty then, so let's see. How... Okay, good. So there is my hook, and let's just... Okay, so I have to hold it, and... Nope. Oh, God. And this time. Nope. Oh, God. This is gonna... Okay, maybe if I go from this side. What the... Why did I just switch hands? Nope. Oh, God. This is just going immediately... How I expected it to. Okay. Of course, the one that... Okay, I'm starting to get it now. Let's see here. What is this? Some plastic? Okay, yeah, plastic. Alrighty then. Nope. Uh, oh, those look good. I don't seem to have trouble grabbing wood. It's everything else that seems to evade me. Well, plastic. Oh, maybe I can. Come on. Let's just leave it. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay. Starting to get the hang of it, which is nice. Need to grab as many supplies as I can real quick, because I know... Sharks in this game are... Help! Oh, speak of the devil and they shall appear. How did I miss that one? That one was my own fault. Alright, let's see if I can grab something now. Alright, how do I open inventory in this game? T? No, apparently it's not T. Uh, wait. Uh, something seems to be wrong. Uh... That's odd. Uh, E's working, but not tab. Maybe that means that... Oh, there we go. Alright, let's see here. Uh, stone axe, fishing rod, shark bait. Uh, I already have a... Okay. Use it. Okay. So that's basically just a better hook than I guess I have. Oh, no, there's... Alrighty, then. Some rope I need. Research table. A wooden spear. I need rope. How do I get rope? That is something I'm going to need to figure out soon. Uh, let's see here. Rope. Ro ah, here we go. Okay. Three. Get me a spear. Okay. Oh, that I definitely need. All right. Let's. There we go. You screw you. Just screw you. I don't eat- you haven't even done anything to me yet, and I already hate you. Alright, let's see here. So, let's see. I feel like I should, like, this is going to get just get boring. It's not going to be like Wild Myth, where it's just constantly giving me things to talk about. So, I think I need to start, like, coming up with topics to talk about. Uh, one that immediately pops to mind, uh, is the new D&D &D movie that's going to be coming out soon. Uh, for anyone who's not on Twitter, which, I mean, like, pretty much everyone is at this point, uh, there is going to be, uh, a Dungeons and Dragons movie. I 
don't know how I feel about it quite yet. I'm a huge fan of Dungeons and Dragons, but uh I don't know. It uh it's got some uh interesting choices. Uh I don't know. It seems like the uh one that everyone's talking about right now is the look of the tieflings, which I don't really mind. It's not like a look I would have gone for for the tiefling, but I don't know. It's not like it's how people are making it out that's just like it looks, oh, it looks nothing like a tiefling. Like, tieflings are supposed to be, like, these, like, devilish, like, creatures with, like, d weird skin and horns and, like, uh, just creepy eyes and stuff. It was just like, yeah, I mean, that's your interpretation, and yeah, it's a common one, but that's not the only interpretation of tieflings that's out there. Like, I don't know. It's not even, like, sort of the original. Like, uh... I like sort of, oh, uh, hold on. Ah, oh, God, you pick the worst time. Get out of here. Screw you. Ah, okay. Uh, how do I not have wood? I feel like I've grabbed wood. Uh, what was I talking Right, the tiefling thing. Uh, I don't know. It just seems like, uh, well, that island's gonna pass me by. Uh, I don't know. It just seems like it's not really worth it, the whole... Oh, right. Uh, basically, just... I don't know. Tieflings, they didn't always sort of look like how they do sort of now, or at least like... So, the origins of tieflings in Dungeons & Dragons is that they were just supposed to be just sort of like people that just had, like, because of, like, like a remote, like, 0.01% of their blood coming from an infernal source, just, like, this weirdness about them. Whether it be, like, tiny horns on their head or, like, cloven feet. Like, they had this sort of, like, stuff about them, but they weren't, like, these overtly just sort of, like, demonic-looking individuals. It wasn't until, like, later on, I feel, when Typhlings were starting to become, like, a bit more popular, that that sort of started becoming the more normalized look. But... It doesn't have to be the only one out there. And it's actually something that I appreciate that pa Pathfinder does. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, Pathfinder is a competitor to Dungeons & Dragons. They originally started out making uh, third-party stuff, but after Wizards uh, came out with 4th edition D&D, they decided to... Uh, they didn't agree with the choice, basically. They liked uh, 3rd edition D&D, which uh, had its own set of rules, which uh, a lot of people, even to this day, are huge, huge fans of. And they didn't want to see uh, all the work people had uh, gone to in making 3rd edition material go to waste, so came out with their own version of uh, a tabletop game that was compatible with pretty much all the stuff people had created for 3rd edition D&D, which I find kind of cool. People sometimes, especially nowadays, call them copycats, but for the longest time, Pathfinder was actually, like, outselling Dungeons & Dragons when it was 4th edition, which I find just insane. Oh god, how do I... Okay, there we go. But yeah, it was, uh... I don't know. Oh, right. In Pathfinder, they don't just, uh, Typhlings in that game aren't just sort of, like, stuck just being the standard, just sort of, uh, just the standard sort of, uh, demonic-looking individuals. Uh, one of my favorite interpretations I saw in one of the books they put out is actually, like, this, uh, they're humanoid, but, like, they're covered in, like, these rainbow feathers, which I thought was really cool interpretation of them. Not one I'd really ever seen before. Like, even, like, some of the more creative interpretations of uh, Typhlings tend to go for more sort of, like, horns or, like, uh, tails. Like, usually going for more traditional interpretations of, like, uh, I'm going to go try and go for this barrel. Oh, God. Uh, please don't get me, shark. Uh, more traditional. Yeah. Oh, God. That is terrifying. Okay, oh god, that just, that hurt me. That hurt, okay. 
Uh, where was I again? Uh, right. Uh, the rain, the, yeah, a lot of times, like, when I look at stuff for, like, uh, when I'm looking at art for different races in D&D, like, a lot of them do tend to go for a very specific sort of, uh, look and stuff, which, uh, like, teach their own. If you like, uh, how something looks, feel free to, uh, just do it. Like, don't let anyone tell you, like, you need to be, like, something you don't want to be. Uh, let me see, like, symbol purifier, uh, that looks cool, uh, can I just sort of, okay, so I have to exit out of here, let's try right here, nice, place plank, I don't know what the planks do, but okay, uh, but yeah, don't let anyone tell you what you don't, uh, what you're not allowed to, uh, play or do in, uh, Dungeons and Dragons or Pathfinder or whatever your favorite TTRPG is. But yeah, we were talking about the uh the movie uh which uh yeah, like I said, I don't know. It's making some choices which I'm uh sort of hesitant on. Uh it still looks like it sh might be fun, I don't know. It's got some like interesting talent behind it, so at least I'm like, I'm still going to check it out, but, uh, yeah, it's got some issues. The one that I actually found kind of funny, and this does harp back to Pathfinder, is, uh, so, uh, I don't know who handled the post or something, but it seems like they might not know a whole lot about, uh, what it is exactly Dungeons & Dragons is, and just sort of took art i don't know if like wizards gave them like an archive of art they could choose from or uh uh they just sort of like looked up stuff online but whoever did that uh they uh made a bit of a mistake uh they uh how do i repair this i do not know i'll just build a new one then uh what was i talking about right so, I don't know what exactly happened, but, uh, they may have used some art which, uh, I don't know if they had gotten the okay with or not. Mainly, they used a... So, in D&D, there's a creature called an Intellect Devourer, which, uh, is a little sort of like brain on legs. Yeah, it's just basically a little creature a that looks like a brain, and it usually has, like, I don't know... D&D, they sort of have them, like, cat paws, which is, like, I don't know. Uh, it makes them kind of look cute, but they're actually really fucked up. Like, these things, basically, as the name describes, devour your intelligence, then crawl in your head, and basically puppeteer you around like a little meat suit. It's really disturbing. And, uh, yeah, rather than use the, uh licensed art that fr wizards created for the monster manual uh they instead somehow wound up using the art for the intellect of hour that appears in pathfinders bestiary which i don't know i don't think it's going to cause like any issues if anything i assume like paizo's maybe going to like make a tweet or announcement sort of like making fun of that if they didn't give the okay to use the uh art in the first place it's just like oh pathfinder's so good that even the uh artists behind uh the uh i'm going to die of dehydration aren't i i've been so distracted just like fishing for materials i have not even been paying attention to uh gathering the basic needs for uh you know life uh but yeah like i'm just going to die that's fine i don't know what happens when you die in this game but like i don't know i'm just assuming it's probably going to happen like similar to uh a lot of games uh that could be wrong but uh what was i doing okay but yeah uh basically like i don't think it's going to cause any issues i think wizards are going to be fine the movie studio that created the poster they're going to be fine it's just a mistake, and I guess I can see, like, yeah, these people probably don't play TTRPGs that made the poster. Uh, it's just real funny that out of all the things they could have used, and Intellect of Hours are kind of a popular creature. Like, there is a good chunk of official art for them, 
but out of all of them, they had to use the competitors. Like, that is just, like, oh, God. It's just funny to me. But, uh, how do I drink you? But, I built this thing expecting it to, like, give me water, but there's no water. And now I'm going to drown. <laughs> like, just praying that this thing just gives me water. Alright, I need some rope. Let's see. A grill. Uh, where did it go? Uh, oh, there it is. In the spot my first stuff used to be. Oh, can I? Okay, that was good. Yeah, how do I? I assume, like, maybe I have to make, like, a cup in order to, uh... Yeah, okay, yeah, that answers that. Alrighty then. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Sorry, everyone. Okay. So, basic need for survival. Get a cup, fill it with water, and then you're golden. I can already tell this is going to be a great playthrough. Alrighty then. But yeah, uh, where did my hook go? Oh, right. Still never did figure out how... Okay, there we go. Uh, t -t -t let's see, what else is there to talk about? I spent a good chunk of time talking about, like, the, uh, D&D &D poster, but, uh, that's probably not going to be the only thing that's out there. Uh, let's see... Uh, video games. I like them. How about you guys? Uh, I don't know. Like, uh, I'm trying to think of, like, any games that are coming out that I might be interested in. But, in all honesty, like, there hasn't really been too, too much, like, really. I've been playing a lot of Ghost of Sekiro lately. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Like, uh, it's definitely earned all the, uh, the acclaim, I guess, it's been getting. Uh, okay, come on. I just need one more bit of plastic. There we go. All right, and hopefully, if, like, I can craft this in the nick of time. All right, so let's see. Wait, do I just left the mouse button? Fill with salt water. Uh, place cup. Okay, all right. Yeah, I feel like left the mouse button. Okay, so I... Yeah, I'm gonna have to. That did nothing for me, except, I think, make me more sick. All right, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can I just keep drinking this and just kill myself? That would be bad. All right, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna die here pretty soon. Okay, research an antenna. Interesting. I still never figured out, like, how do you get food? Fill with fresh water. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm good now. Nice. All right, let's put you back on the fire. Wait, oh god, I dra- I just undid- Oh god. Alrighty. That, yeah, that was- That was me, yeah. Oh god, how do I- Is that a dolphin? Oh god, uh, here I am trying to stab them. Nice. Alright, so- yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Lose two-thirds of inventory. I mean, I don't really have that much. So, yeah, might as well. Okay, so, oh, God. Out of all the things it could have gotten rid of, it had to do the claw. All right. Uh, hello. All right. Okay, there we go. Uh, is that new claw? Wait, oh, it needed two. Okay. Alright. Plastic. Okay. Let me see. Did I... I did not lose the cup. That is good. I do need some planks, though, I imagine. Alright, let's see about getting some new materials. Alrighty. What was I talking about before I did? Oh, right, video games. Ghost of Zekiro. Uh, it's a good game. I really do like it. Uh, it's got a few, like, uh, clunky bits to it. Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I'm enjoying it. I really am. It's just got some weird bits. Uh, let's see. Uh, combat took a little bit of getting used to, but once you sort of, like, get the knack for it, it's not that bad. Uh, travel, it's... It's got one of the things I really find annoying in a lot of uh, different sort of like those types of games. Uh, 
mainly uh let me sing uh fill with fresh water all right drink and let's see put that there uh i really do need to find something oh that looks like it'll be very oh come on where did you come oh god 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 oh god, oh god. all right uh come on okay we're good okay uh, we're definitely not going to die here today, everyone. Definitely not. I still need food, though. How do I get food? Uh, well, I mean, like, I know how. I need to make a fishing rod. Uh, so let's see. I need some rope, which I can make some of, but I don't think I have enough. What else do I need? Uh, more rope and some planks, okay? Uh, let's see. There's that got that can i just grab this one yeah all right come on just get ah okay you i have had enough of all right there we go uh that might actually be enough that what that just gave me uh let's see here come on fishing rod i really need to uh nope still need more okay uh let's see here is there anything of interest that was just an awful throw let's see here how did that not hit okay uh right ghost of tsushima uh i think i was calling it ghost of sekiro for a while there i don't know why sorry uh ghost of tsushima it's pretty fun but it's got one of the things i really am not a fan of that Quite a few games do it's the painted ledges for having to climb things like that is one of the most annoying thing if you're going to have like climbing in a video game please try and make it sort of like as seamless as possible don't just make these like very eye-catching painted ledges you need to grab on to some games do it better admittedly than others but Ghost of Tsushima is a little sort of like... It's got... It does it the same way that uh, Horizon Zero Dawn did uh, when that game uh, came out. But it's just so obvious and so infuriating that I can't climb up this tiny little ledge unless there's like this very special painted section. It's just... I hate it. I really... It's one of the most infuriating things I have ever had occur to me in video games i i mean i get it like creating like uh free climbing i'm sure is very difficult in games but it's just infuriating as a player is all all right so fingers crossed i now can no longer die and actually get some food because i really need some oh those would be i need to try and grab those come on Okay, I can maybe grab the one. There we go. Not bad. You stay away. Oh, right. Uh, bait. How? I cannot apparently choose bait. Okay. I don't really have anything I feel like I can use as bait. Can I move around while doing this? I can! Nice! Can I, I can even gather... Okay, that's going to be very useful. Uh, that, I had something, didn't I? Okay. Well, this is nice. Just on my boat. Just, uh, fishing. Uh, I don't know what it is. Like, I am not a big fan of fishing in real life. But when it comes to in video games, like, I really, I really do like fishing. Like, I like fishing mini games. Like, it's a lot of fun to me. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'll put the rocks here. I apparently have a cup. Oh, right. That's my cup of salt water. Where did I get blueprints? Okay. Nice. All right. Uh, does not fit here. Where does it fit then? Uh, can I build something bigger? Uh, no, I can't. Uh, okay. Could I? Okay. There we go. Right. Nice. I don't know what it is I'm cooking, but I'm finally... I'm starting to learn how to survive, guys. Just be patient with me, please. Uh, let's see. Uh, poor liquid, yeah. Uh, let's see. There's 
salts. Did I just drink salt? Oh, no, wait. I drank... Okay, it was fresh water. Nice. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, place plank. Oh, okay. I did not have enough planks. That's why. Uh, can I put it in now? Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm starting to get it, how it works. All right. I feel like I keep saying that, but it's never true. But I, I just, I don't, I don't got this. All right, so let's see. What else can I make that might be useful? Uh, not a lot, apparently. Oh, God, you're so far away. All right, come on. Okay, come on. There we go. And I missed the plastic. Dang it. All right. Okay. Uh, I cannot grab. Oh, wait. Uh, there we go. All righty then. So let's see here. Uh, okay. So Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, yeah. I'm still really enjoying the game. It's just got some little bit. Oh, okay. I didn't even see that. All right. Uh, let's see here. Did that just take away what I needed in order to build the frickin'... Okay, no, I can build the axe. Nice. That might be a bit more useful. Use for chopping down and removing rack parts. Okay, uh, let's see. What else can I build? I've got the hammer. I don't know why I'd need to build another one. Uh, a bed. That is another thing, like, I'm going to need to make here pretty soon. Uh, let's see. Oh, right, the a Okay, now I remember. I cannot... I used all the... Okay. That's... Yeah. It's starting to come back to me. Well, come back to me. Like I watch people play the game, but I have not played the game myself up till now. It's definitely a interesting experience. Oh, God. Urge to check Discord is strong. I keep hearing beeps. Uh, I assume my friends are uh, discussing stuff, probably. We're still in the midst of trying to decide, like... D, D schedules thought i heard the shark uh we've got a rough estimate right now but there are a few people we haven't heard back from yet so fingers crossed everything works out but yeah it's been rough oh D, &D. actually that is something like i don't know uh D, &D it's one of my favorite hobbies so like when it comes to D, &D i have a lot to talk about but, yeah, uh, we're currently in the midst of trying to reschedule a couple games that I might as well tell you about. So, I run two of the games that we're trying to reschedule. And I say they're D&D, &D, but they're not. The first one I run in a system called Savage Worlds, which uh, is an interesting little... Oh, it's because I'm hungry. Where is that fish I cooked? Ah, okay, the cooked t tilapia? Tilapia. Okay, we got a tilapia. I am going to eat you now. Okay, not as filling as I thought it'd be, but, I mean, it's something. And I desperately need something at this point. I still need some rope. Do I have enough? I do. Good. What about... Okay, I can make some nails. Nice! I'm starting to make some stuff, guys. Uh, crop box. I don't really think I have crops at the moment. I need some leaves storage i think i'm good on storage i need a spear though that is what i really need right now one that's better than the one i currently have uh let me put all the stuff that i'm i don't need like just clogging up my inventory in here place some planks place some planks there uh let's see get some more please tell me i didn't just drink it again there we go all right, uh, okay, uh, place a couple full of salt water. Nice. And might as well do some fishing. Okay, I still need to learn how to, like, pick things up as I'm doing the fishing. Oh, got something. A raw palm fruit. I think that's the thing I can't cook right now. Ah, come on. All right. Uh, man, this one's taking a while. There we go. A raw herring. Nice. I have had herring before. It's okay. Or, wait, wait, did I have herring? I'm pretty sure I've had herring. 
Let's see. Maybe I should build some more. No, I don't have enough. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I feel like I need some plastic, so... Uh, not what I was hoping for, but okay. Uh, oh, right. Uh, back to scheduling things. So the first game uh, is called Savage Worlds. It's an interesting system. It's very different from all the ones that uh, I'd played before. Uh, it originally apparently started out... Well, I say apparently, but originally Savage Worlds started out sort of out of another game that the company called Pinnacle that makes it made. It was called Deadlands, which is a weird western themed tabletop RPG that uh, is pretty interesting and had uh, sort of a game system that was sort of themed around trying to emulate sort of like a poker game-ish feel. You used like uh, poker chips, you dealt like initiative and like combat in like uh, card hands. It was pretty interesting and eventually they decided to try and make a war game with a more streamlined version of that system uh, which apparently did very well to the point that uh people were asking for uh like just a tabletop version of those rules and uh yeah uh pinnacle in their uh wisdom decided that they were going to make a system for that but rather than use uh just deadlands and just do that they decided to make it sort of a generic sort of uh system which for those that aren't in the know, generic systems are basically tabletop systems that don't have a specific setting sort of tied to them and can be used for all sorts of different ones. Whether it be like fantasy, sci-fi, gothic, uh, whatever. They're just basically just supposed to be like, oh, you want to play this game? Well, here's a setting you can use. And yeah. It's a pretty interesting one. I'm actually using it to run a Deadlands game just with these uh, rules. And it's been pretty fun so far. It's set in uh, Western California. It's got a... Basically, it's pretty much the party has just been adventuring around this sort of like alternate version of American history. Uh, just doing odd jobs. Uh, trying to uh, stay under the radar as a lot of them sort of have like dark paths to them. <clears throat> Sorry, had a bit of a cough. And uh, yeah, and I say try, they've uh, mostly been failing at that. Uh, uh, quite recently, uh, one of them just came across a uh, old uh, acquaintance of theirs. By acquaintance, I mean parent who desperately wants them dead. Uh, though they managed to successfully fend her off and... Uh, yeah, they became mayors. That was an interesting little bit. But, uh, yeah, the Flood has been a uh, lot of fl fun. It's actually a campaign you can pick up for yourselves. I don't want to give anything uh, away for those that might want to, uh, but it's been a lot of fun. And that's just one of the games I've been running. The other one is in Pathfinder, which I've mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, which I... I really do love. It's been a lot of fun. I was getting kind of burnt out on D&D &D and wanted to try something new. And yeah, it was the uh, first system I decided to uh, try out. And yeah, it's been just an utter blast. Uh, we're doing a campaign called Strength of Thousands, which uh, basically is about, uh, without giving away too much spoilers, it's sort of taking the sort of magic uh, school sort of uh, plot, or not plot, but theme that's uh, pretty popular with a lot of people, but sort of putting on a, a bit of a unique twist on it, uh, being that uh, rather than sort of like a Harry Potter or anime sort of theme like a lot of people do, they instead are sort of theming it around like, uh, sort of like African sort of uh, uh, society, I guess. It's been pretty interesting. I've been really enjoying it. It's definitely got a unique twist to it. Uh, my players, they really seem to like it. It's just been overall just a really big, big blast. Uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I've loved it. Uh, but uh, we're currently looking to try and move that from uh, Wednesdays, which is the day that we're normally playing it, to uh, either... Uh, saturday or sunday 
I'm kind of hoping for Sunday, but I don't know. It depends on how everyone feels. Uh, I keep thinking I hear that freaking shark. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me see if I put that there and then build a couple planks to sort of maybe try and fend it off from the shark. Act as buffers. Oh, nice. That actually was pretty good. What are these decoration packages that I keep getting? Can I open them? It's the inside that matters. Uh, I don't know. I feel like uh, I'd kind of like to know what's uh, in them. So I don't, uh, you know, start. Well, it could be like, oh, the holy hand grenade. Use this to kill all the sharks. Uh, yeah, that'd be very useful. I'd like that, please. They haven't been attacking lately, which is a bit weird. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's... I need some plastic. Come on. Come here! No. Okay. Oh, right. I need to... I've been completely, like... I keep noticing that my hook's getting really low, and then I keep doing nothing about the hook. Alright, let's see. Can I get you? Yes, I can. Alright, you too. Come here. More pla... Okay, I'm ready for you. Come here, you... Okay. Uh, let's see. What was I doing? Right, that. Uh, okay. So let's see here. Come here. Come here, bit of plastic. You're pollution, but now you're going to be useful. All right. Uh, let's see here. Build that. Ba ba ba. And, uh, we're starting to look pretty good, guys. Oh, nice. Oh, God. And I am hungry. Did I? I. Oh, good, good, good. Yes. Okay, come here. All right. Wait. Okay, that... For some reason, I thought I poisoned myself, which, uh... I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but, uh... Yeah, I'd kind of like to avoid that. Maybe I can... Yeah, this might be useful. Like, as they come by here, I can... Yeah, that's... That's good. I think, uh... Yeah, I'm starting to come up with stuff, guys. Starting to come together. I just... Okay, pour liquid. Okay, uh, fill with fresh water. Drink. Salt water. Cup. And there we go. And let's get a fish on the fire, why don't we? Uh, what the else can I make right now? Did I make the... Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, okay. I still... Wait. I... I... Oh, right, because I built those frickin' boards! Oh, God. Alrighty. Come here, little bits of plastic. You know, I'm doing a service right here. I'm cleaning the ocean, bit by bit. And there go- Okay, yeah, I pretty much- I need to do it now. There we go. Hello, Hook. I missed you. Come here. There we go. Alright, uh, what else can I make? I need to start focusing on other things so I can... A research table. I'm going to need scrap, but I haven't seen any barrels in a while. Granted, I've been distracted by other things. Ah, where are you? There you are. How... Okay, that is, like, uh... Something I find a little bit annoying is that trying to pick up the frickin' hook is just almost impossible. Like, I don't know if I have to hover over it or what, but it seems like I'm always uh, struggling to pick that thing back up. Alright, come on. Uh, oh, right. I need to start using... Uh, this is what I need to start doing, is just fish and pick them up as they go by. Watch as nothing goes by now. Alright, uh... T t okay. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, uh, yeah, I keep wanting to go silent, but I, I, I need to start talking. Uh, right, we were talking about D&D &D stuff. So, 
the two games that I'm currently in, I mentioned a little bit of, uh, oh, wait, what the, okay, picked up Kokaring, uh, yes, I would like one to eat this, and then two to put this, and it doesn't fit, okay. I feel like I could make that fit if I wanted to. Like, it doesn't look like a very big fish. Like, that's a big fish. Are sharks fish? I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're fish. Like, dolphins are, are mammals, but, you know, I'm pretty sure sharks are fish. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Got some plastic. Okay, so I can't look or craft while I'm doing this, so that's good to know. Always a split second. Okay. Stay away. Alright, so I've got a couple things. Uh, let's see here. Can I cook you? Yes, I can. I ate it, didn't Oh, God. You... Ah! Everything's going wrong! Okay, uh, let's see here. Fill, drink. Fill, place. Okay, uh, I need to start. Okay, there we go. Oh, barrels, a lot of them, nice. Okay, come here, little barrels. You know what, I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna use the hook. There we go. Uh, oh, and that scrap, which I was needing. Nice. There we go. Ooh, a lot of scrap, some stone. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, if you haven't figured out by now, a lot of times I use the word nice to sort of, like, fill my vocabulary. <laughs> You're just waiting, aren't you? Where's that research? Okay, there it is. I still need some planks, though. I can get those, though, while, uh, working on grabbing something to, uh, eat, because, uh, I won't have this fishing rod for much longer. Okay, so let's see. Uh, D&D, &D, right. So, the two games, like, I wish I could, like, go into more detail, but... Uh, I'm getting way too distracted just trying to do things that I don't think I could give a good enough uh, explanation of them at this moment. Maybe I'll sort of, like, take a break and do, like, a little interim and sort of talk about them a little bit here in a second or two. I don't know. But uh, for now, just basic stuff. Uh, but there were, t uh, and unfortunately were, two other games I was a player in. The first one was Descent into Avernus, which a friend of mine who's a player in one of my games is running. Just started it. It was uh, pretty fun the first couple sessions I was in. But unfortunately, in order to make it work for everyone else, I bit the bullet and offered to just drop so it's easier for other people. And yeah, I had to do the exact same thing for the other game, the Rime of Frostmaiden which another friend is trying to get started real quick. Uh, I had to drop out of that one, too, because like we just don't have schedules that match, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know. It really sucks. Avernus, like, it's a very interesting campaign, one that I feel has some issues, but nothing that I think really drags down the uh, fun of it. Uh, but... Yeah, no. If it means, like, everyone else can play and, like, it means less stress for them, then, yeah, I'll drop. Uh, maybe I might be able to, uh, hop back in at a later point. I don't know. I, uh, I hope so. And, but yeah, for now, I'm out two games. Uh, that I, so now, instead of being a GM and a player, I'm unfortunately a GM. Which, I mean, like, I'm not used to. Like, I didn't start actually playing in games until kind of recently. Like, uh, for the longest time, I was just a GM. I didn't really get a chance to be a player. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, it happens. Like, unfortunately, it happens a lot. I know a lot of people have had this issue. Let's see. Let's put you here. The shark hasn't tried to attack here yet. Uh, let's see. Place an item to research. Okay. Research that. Nope. Oh, okay. I think I get it now. Research. Then why do I have this? Antenna. That's also researched. Okay. Why do I have these if they're already researched? Uh, this kind of seems like it was useless. Uh, let me see. What else could I make, maybe? I really don't have too, too much, I feel. A sail, a streamer, a paddle. Throwable anchor. That sounds like it could be useful. And it's surprisingly cheap, too. Okay, let's see how well I can do with this. Uh, not too well. There's that. Uh, yeah, there. Uh, hopefully I can make it here real soon. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, global anchor. What about a paddle? Okay, I'm not going to be able to do that right now, but at least I got the anchor. So let's see. Where did it go? What do you want? Char Why is the wood of this raft so tasty to you? There we go. All right. And it's not too far away. Uh, oh wait, do I have a fish on the fire? No, I don't. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, how do I, uh, how do I throw it? I'm just pointing. Uh, what? Oh, I place it, I guess? Okay, uh, and bro all right interesting not how i expected that to work but okay oh god okay don't kill me shark please oh god please be something edible on this island don't make me have died in vain ow okay come on there we go all right is there a run option or am I just always going to be at a leisurely stroll? Well, at least I if I die, I'll be kind of close by. Some red seeds. Maybe I shouldn't harvest this yet. I could die literally any second. Uh, let me think. Is there anything edible here? Anything at all. But I'm not picky at the moment. Uh, let's see here. And I eat the seeds. I need some water. Let's see. Drink that. That was salt water, wasn't it? It was. Okay. I cannot eat the seeds. Yeah, I uh, I I feel like I'm about to die, everyone. Uh, let's see. So I could harvest these trees. Yeah, I might as well just sort of like look around. Ooh, pineapple that. I, I don't want to waste that yet. I'm just going to look around, sort of... Yep, there we go. I did last longer that time, at least. There is that. Press key to wake up. Alright, uh... Okay, good, I'm still here. And... There's a barrel right outside my reach. Lovely. Come on. There we go. Oh, nice! A raw beet. Okay. Uh, let's see. Maybe I can make that, uh... Okay, yeah, I figured. But, I could either go to the island. Yeah. Alright, try and get there as fast as possible. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you... Okay, good. Alright. Good thing I still have this. Okay, this is apparently not something I can chop down. Okay. Ooh, watermelons. Nice! Alright, some sunflowers. Uh, let's see. Right, this. Some planks. 
Coconuts, nice. I, I don't know. I have a sort of like a weird relationship. What? Well, oh, yeah, that sounds weird. Uh, I don't know. Like, I like coconut like water, but I'm not a big fan on like the meat of coconuts or like the taste of uh the uh. Is it still considered meat? The stuff that's inside coconuts? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm not a fan of whatever it is. Yeah, is that technically? Oh no, is no, it can't actually be meat. No, no way. I don't know. I, well, maybe it. I don't know. I thought I remember when I was in like a uh, school, like high school or something, that there was like some. Uh, like my teacher was trying to say like uh, the uh, insides of uh, pineapple actually were like uh, meat and stuff or something. I don't know. Uh, it's been a while. I could be misremembering. I probably am. Whoa, what? Oh, okay. I I think I have too much stuff. Uh, all right. So let's see. Is there anything else on this island I can maybe harvest? Or I could eat some of this, I know. All right. Uh, eat this watermelon. Eat the beet. Nice. Ooh, very nice. I'm really liking how it's uh, boosting up my uh, my thirst. Or bringing down... Ah, whatever it means. It's doing something to my thirst. And that is very much appreciated. How's my raft doing? I did not think of that. Uh, let's see. Coconut. Okay, here we go. Is it only when I'm on the raft is that freaking shark interested in it? There, speak of him and he shall appear. All right. So yeah, that was nice. Uh, where did I put? Ah, there it is. Okay. So and okay. So I have to keep making them if I want to. Okay. That that's fair. Yeah. All right. Uh, place planks. Or liquid. I don't. Please don't make me drink the frickin' what? Uh, let's see here. What was I? Oh, I don't have my hammer. That's not. That's why it's not letting me. Okay. And I don't have the rope, but I can make some right here. Okay. There we go. Building hammer. There we are. That. That. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else I could possibly do. I don't see. Am I okay? Yeah, I am moving. Nice. Okay. What do I want to do? Like, I think right now I should make maybe one of these, but I'm going to need some more plant fibers. Uh, I guess that means I better start looking for them. I would have thought the pine trees or the tropical trees that I chopped down would have given me more of those. Uh, but that just gave me quite a few. Enough that I think I should be able to, uh, make one. Let's see. Ah, rope there. Alright. And, yeah, nice. Alright, so let's see. Move that there. And what's a good spot? Ah, here's fine. How do I plant? Oh, there we go. Wait. Oh, it's because it's watermelon, isn't it? Let's see about the pineapples. Can I plant the pineapple? No, I cannot. Apparent. Oh wait, I'm still on the. Wait, really? I can't even place the. What can I per place? Can I just do the flowers? Well, that's not very useful. I don't know. Maybe, uh... Oh, maybe if I... Oh! I can't... No, okay, that's good. Research. I cannot do that. Alright, uh... What can I do, then? What is the point? I don't know. This is weird. Maybe I... 
Okay, I okay, I think I'm starting to get now I'm starting to get it. Okay. So I put things down and that dep okay. Okay, oh god. That should have probably taken me much less time to do than it actually did. What about rope? Yep, okay. Okay, I'm starting to get this now. All right. So basically, I'm an idiot. That's what we learned here today. Okay, so let's see. Uh, all right. Okay, so let's see. Uh, do I have enough? Let me see. I keep wanting to now go over here and see, like, what can I research? Can I do this? No, I cannot. Uh, what about this? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, this. Research that. I'm getting... I'm starting to make some progress. Okay. Nope. Okay. Uh, hammer? No? Oh, it tells... Okay, obviously. Yeah, it tells. Uh, let's see. Giant clam, titanium ingot, a nail. All right. M basic stuff, right? I need to do some fishing, I just realized. And I don't have my fishing rod anymore. Oh, God. I need to make some... Let's see, rope. Uh, let's, uh oh, oh, I was fearing this was gonna happen. Uh, all right, so just need to do a quick save. I am going to, uh, let's see, I think it's about time to, uh, maybe do a bit of a intermission, everyone, mainly because, uh, hold on, let me, uh, there we go, and I am in the void. Hello. Ah, it's all nice to be back in the cold, cold void. So, the reason why I want to go to an intermission, one, want to take a little bit of a break from uh, Raft, and two, it's because uh, it is currently raining outside, and I live in an area where even a light drizzle can sometimes knock out the entirety of the power grid. So, I could be losing power any second. Uh, and my chances aren't very good because it's currently flickering. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not exactly the most fun living in the middle of nowhere, everyone. It can be a real pain sometimes. So yeah, I just wanted to go to an intermission. I figured, like, uh, plus, like, good time for me to, like, uh, l like catch up on some stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh... Oh, right. The one thing that I did want to uh, check up on. First of all, Discord. Uh, I just want to double check. I'm really sorry, but it is like kind of important what's going on. Uh, that would be if Discord were to open up. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Oh, I've been getting a lot of apps, apparently. What you playing this week? Oh, never mind. I see. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Alex. Like. Yeah, why would... Okay. Well, I mean, like, I guess he's probably, like, interested. Like, uh, Alex, uh, for those that missed my last stream, he's a friend of mine. Uh, he was actually on when I was playing Wilder Myth last week. Uh, he's a good guy. One of my best friends. Uh, maybe I can convince him to play some Raft next week. I feel like this game would be a lot easier to sort of stream, uh, with multiple people. Not that I'm, like, uh not having fun it's just like it feels like i'm constantly trying to like talk about something and then i get utterly distracted by like just trying to meet the basics of survival it's definitely sort of preoccupying a lot of my brain power <laughs> is what i'm trying to say uh but yeah it looks like uh oh god uh yeah it's uh okay so yeah I guess now that I'm doing a little bit of an intermission, I can talk a bit more about my D&D schedule. Uh, so, basically, my first game, The Flood. So, the way Deadlands uh, works is that, basically, it's sort of a horror-themed setting. Uh, lots of sort of... Uh, basically, what happens is, during the American Civil War, there is this sort of... Uh, 
opening that forms between our world and this other sort of like extra dimensional plane that allows all these sorts of horrors to sort of seep in. Now, the this causes the civil war to sort of uh, take a prolonged sort of stance. In the original setting, it was ongoing and sort of uh, eventually enters sort of like a uh, cold war. But in the updated version of the setting, it has recently ended. It went on a little longer than it did in our world, but uh, it is currently over. And it's up now to Pinnacle to, to sort of decide w how that changes the setting as a whole. Because Deadlands, uh, the future of that game uh, was very de much dependent on the Civil War never ending. Uh, but yeah. Uh, the Flood, which is the campaign I'm running, was one of the campaigns that Pinnacle put out for a previous edition of, uh, Savage Worlds that I sort of, uh, have been updating to the current version, which is pretty interesting. The nice thing about Savage Worlds is that, uh, their, like, material is very easy to sort of convert, so you're always up to date on the current edition of the rules. Uh, it's pretty interesting. It takes place in an alternate version of California, which in the Deadlands setting was devastated by a horrible earthquake that pretty much sunk, uh, about a third of the state into the sea, uh, and left a large chunk of it just sort of like as these like pocketed aisles that they call the maze. Really dangerous and, uh, really cool. Uh, but yeah. The topic of the flood, don't want to spoil it in case one of my players uh, joins, but it's a uh, it's a lot of fun and it takes you across all these different places in California, some of which are either inspired uh, by real life settings or are actual real life settings. Like that is the cool thing about sort of uh, alternate history and TTRPGs is that you could bring actual history into them and it wouldn't seem weird and your players might learn something which is kind of neat I really like that as someone who really does like history uh it is really cool to have sort of uh the ability to draw upon history as a reference for this hobby I really really love uh but yeah that's uh, the Flood. The other one, Strength of Thousands, like I was saying, magical school, but with a sort of like African sort of uh, uh, societal sort of uh, take on it. Very enjoyable. I'm really liking it. Uh, so far, my players just completed the first adventure path for the campaign, which for those that don't know, Paizo, the company that creates Pathfinder, typically for their campaigns, break them up into multiple parts that re they release uh, once per month. These can range from like three-parters to six-parters. Some are like just in a single sort of uh, module. And they're all usually of really good quality. And Strength of Thousands is like, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, my players have, we've been playing it a couple months. Uh, they've made some really interesting characters some of which I think are their best work. Uh, they've really had a lot of fun befriending uh, their fellow students, uh, going on all these sorts of like weird assignments for their teachers, and combating the first big bad of the campaign, the Stone Ghost, who they just recently found out the identity of, which I won't spoil for anyone who might see this and say like, hey, I want to go check that out. Like a magical school was sort of like themed around like... Uh, african sort of like uh societal uh aspects it really sounds pretty cool uh but yeah it's uh culture culture how did i forget the word culture up till now oh god i have been trying to think of oh god what is that word i have been struggling for the past hour to remember the word culture. Oh god, the oh I I am an utter fool. Like that is oh god. Oh god. Culture. African culture. Strength of Thousands is a campaign that takes a lot from African culture, which is pretty like nice. It adds for a more sort of like uh I will say 
unique setting because in TTRPGs, a lot of them don't usually use sort of like African culture as a basis for their sort of setting. Uh, it, and it is nice to see some representation there. But it is very nice. I do really enjoy it. Uh, let's see. But yeah, it has been a lot of fun. And I don't know. Like, my players have all been really enjoying it. I'm one of those people that constantly worries my players aren't having a lot of fun. So to hear, like, that they've been really enjoying it this far, uh, it's been nice. Like, I really do like that. Uh, and yeah, fingers crossed it continues for all six of the adventure paths. Because, like, uh, the first part, uh, it's alright. Uh, second part, okay, but once you get, like, to the middle of the campaign, I just feel like it really just ups in quality. Like, it, like, I am really looking forward to some of the future adventure paths from this, because they, like, oh god, I, there's so much I want to have my players experience that is in this adventure path. It looks like it's gonna be a real good time. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is Strength Thousands. Uh, and I think it's only fair to uh, talk about uh, Descent to Avernus and uh, Rhyme of the Frostmaiden, even though I unfortunately wasn't able to experience them for very long, or in Frostmaiden's case, at all yet. Uh, yeah, Descent to Avernus is a pretty good campaign. I actually tried to run it myself once, but again, scheduling uh, ended that campaign, so I unfortunately wasn't able to take it very far. So I really was happy when uh one of my friends was just like hey so i'm thinking we're going to uh run descent into avernus after we finish our current campaign and i was really looking forward to it it really like i was pretty sad when i like thought like oh i'm gonna have to drop if like because like literally i'm the only one this particular day everyone is free can't do so yeah i i had to drop uh work man that is just I, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I don't know, work has, like, been a bit of a bummer lately, I'm trying to find something else, and maybe, fingers crossed, like, something pops up, and I can, like, head back into it, but for now, like, uh, like, I just hope that the rest of the players are having fun, Avernus is a pretty cool, like, uh, campaign, and it was actually sort of, like, uh, worked on with one of my favorite sort of, uh, people out there joe manganello i just find he's such a like he just seems like such a cool dude like every time i see him in something whether it's like critical role or in an interview he does he just seems like a really really cool and sort of like down to earth dude like i really like i and like his character like uh that he plays like this uh red dragonborn paladin like I don't know, like, some people have an issue with him, but, like, I found, I thought he was a really cool character. Uh, but yeah, uh, Rhyme of the Frostmaiden, that's another really good campaign. One that I actually was thinking of, uh, doing myself, maybe I might in the future, I don't know, uh, but I was looking forward to doing it as a player, and I'm really hoping I can join in at some point. But, yeah, uh, for now, looks like I'm unfortunately going to have to miss out on it. Uh, but, uh, so, I am going to, uh, this has been kind of nice, a little intermission. But for now, I think I'm going to be right back, because my throat is starting to get really, really dry. I don't normally drink things on, uh, while I'm streaming and stuff, but doing all this sort of talking and stuff... It's really made my throat dry, so I'm just going to be right back. I'm really sorry, guys.
All right, I am back. All right. Oh, no, no. Okay, there we go. Sorry, everyone. Okay. Apologies for that, guys. My throat, like I said, was getting really dry. It doesn't normally do that. Like, that is one thing my friends always find just incredibly weird about me is that I very rarely need to get drinks after I spoke, like, I've done non-stop talking for a couple hours. Uh, just one minute while I re-calibrate. Uh, Let's see. Alright, there we go. Okay, okay, there we are. Alright, nice. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Every time I even move slightly, it's always begging that I uh, calibrate. But this time, I feel like I did have a decent reason. Uh, yeah, what was I talking about? Oh, right. I don't normally need drinks when I stream. Uh, I'm kind of weird like that. But uh, I've been doing a lot more talking today than I normally do. So my throat is getting kind of a bit more dry. Uh, yeah. Uh, while I was away, though, and, uh, I have a purifier, like, water thing on my sink, which, uh, it, like, double filters the stuff and can take a little while. So, uh, while I was waiting for it to pour me a glass, I, uh, was looking on, uh, YouTube and stuff, and I found something that, God, I hope is not real, a live-action version movie of naruto which i don't know i know not well, i'm not much of an anime person like there are a couple out there i do like and my friends they're all huge anime fans and if they recommend me something i'll try and check it out if i have time uh but like even i've seen a large chunk of naruto like i was in elementary school when naruto first came out like i remember oh god i remember when Naruto first came out, the toy section of, like, Kmart, Walmart, Target, wherever you went, just had, like, a good, like, half of the aisle just dedicated to Naruto stuff. Naruto action figures, Naruto headbands, like, ninja, like, just, like, knockoff, like, well, not knockoff, but, like, styrofoam, like, ninja stars and, like, throwing knives. Like, Naruto was big big when i was like in like third grade and uh yeah i saw quite a bit of it like both back then and even somewhat like later on in life i tried watching a good chunk of it when uh i was in uh high school and stuff too uh mostly because my friends had tied me up and uh forced me to watch anime because they were tired of me saying like nah i don't want to watch any anime like i'm too cool for that uh which uh i don't know but i like like i said there are a couple of like, I, mean, I don't know i'm just not too like i like the anime style like i lo really do like the artistic sort of like anime style but there's something about anime that like unless it's like a special concept or something just doesn't typically uh draw me in i don't know i'm kind of weird like that uh but yeah, uh, Naruto, like a live action Naruto movie, like that just sounds awful. Like I, I just saw the thumbnail, like it could be fake. It could be fake. I don't know. There's something about me that sort of doubts it because it seems like nowadays almost every anime gets a live action adaptation. I just hope it's not a Western adaptation because my God, are those the worst? Like I did see like or tried to watch the live action version of death note i that is one of the few movies that i just put on and it was just like this this sucks and just stopped watching like it was bad real bad like not even willem dafoe could save it for me i'm sorry will it it was just bad really really bad but yeah uh i don't know like maybe that it, naruto might save ant western anime movies but like if it is that like i really doubt it like there are tons of people who don't like the anime itself so a live action one i don't think is gonna like get too many uh too many fans if i'm being honest 
Uh, but let's see. There were a couple other things on uh, uh, YouTube that uh, premiered that I'm actually a bit more interested in. Uh, He-Man, the Master of the Universe, I actually did not know that this got sort of a, a new series until, like, yesterday. I was at Walmart, and uh, I like going through the clearance section every time I go to Walmart, whether it be my local one or just when I'm popping in for, like, I don't know, just to grab a water. Because I like seeing, like, what the Walmart's trying to get rid of for cheap. And my local Walmart has actually been uh, pretty good lately. Like, they've been getting rid of a lot of quality stuff. Like, uh, within the last, like, a couple times I went, they were getting rid of, like, really nice-looking, like, gaming keyboards and mouses and headphones. Uh action figures a lot of them for like marvel type legend stuff uh transformers like they like toys especially like i don't know what it is but they were getting rid of a lot of toys like transformers legos star wars marvel like it was a lot of stuff that just like they i don't know they marked it down and they marked it down quite a bit like uh I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to, like, if it's still there next time I go to Walmart, getting one of those Transformers uh, action figures. Like, it's Beast Wars. It's a little bit before my time, but I don't know. But I like Transformers. I like Transformers was, like, one of my favorite things to uh, watch as a kid. Like, I really loved it. Like, uh, what was it? I'm trying to remember the name of the series that they had with the mini cons. Like, I really like the mini cons. Like, I used to carry around this little one that was a tank all the time. I really loved that thing. It was nice. Uh, but yeah, that was like one of the things. Uh, the other bit, I am Groot. That's apparent. I, I keep forgetting that is a thing. And what I'm reminded is just like, oh, right, that's a thing. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't really like. I like Groot. I like Vin Diesel. And I mean, like, I don't know. I'm just kind of glad, like, it's just shorts, and they're not trying to make an entire, like, movie or TV series based around Groot, because, like, he's nice in small doses, but, like, there's not much else to his character other than just being kind of cute, uh, which these, like, I feel like are gonna fill that void for a lot of people, because, like, yeah, it's pretty much playing to Groot's strength. They're short, and they look cute. Uh, but yeah, I think I've, uh, maybe blown away i will talk about that later uh let's see load world d world oh right winderlands uh that was sort of a test and uh yeah no i didn't think it was worth it i i all well i pretty much died immediately <laughs> and lost pretty much all the equipment <laughs> like which i think is just the hook and by hook so yeah i lo i lost everything I thought, yeah, better burn that world and forget about it. Let's see here. Ah, it's loading up a bit faster than before. Do 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 do. Ah. Whoa. Was it raining before? I don't think it was. Oh, now you let me fix things. Okay. Oh God. Okay, that wasn't fixing that. That. Okay. That was destroying. That is the, uh, that's the opposite of what I wanted. Oh, oh, That, that could've, okay, that, that, uh, yeah, okay. Wait, where's my hammer? Did I not, okay, I do still have the hammer. I just, uh, yeah, that, uh, that could've gone better. Okay. Oh, God. I... All right. Let's see here. Got that. Okay, that's up there. I got a fish. Nice. I do not have to too much. Let's see. Maybe if I just let it sit there, I'll... Nope. Oh, wait. Yes. Nice. Okay. Scrap, palm leaves, ah, not too, too much. Or at least not much I can use. Ah, this thing's almost broken again. Nope, come back here. Oh, I am an idiot. Oh, God. 
I forgot to bring back up the game plan. Oh no. This is yeah. Well at least I noticed like relatively quickly. Oh god. Aren't you glad for anyone who stumbles upon this and has watched up to like an hour and a half in you chose to do so? Oh god. Wait, why do I still have a raw beat? I thought I ate all those. Alright, eat. They do not give much, do they? And that's broken. Alright, uh, okay. Hook. At least they're easy to make. Alright. Uh. What was that? Uh, okay. Right, rope. I need to make some rope. Okay, let's see. How much rub? Sorry, I had a brain fart there. Okay. Where are all the leaves? I'm not seeing anything. Oh, there's one. There we go. Alright. Nice. And... Oh! Nice. Okay, that's gonna grab that. And that did not have much of what I need. Like, I'm getting a lot of this stuff and it's not what I need. Come on. I just need a couple plant fibers. How did I miss that? There we go. Okay. Uh, that one. Uh, let's see about this barrel. The barrel. Oh god, Unis Honest. Like, can you guys believe Unis Honest is like a year and a half old now? Uh, oh god. There are probably people who don't even. I keep forgetting, like, Unis Honest isn't something that, like, everyone is going to be aware of. So, for those who are unaware, uh, Unis Honest was uh, something very special. It was a project by Markiplier and his friend Ethan, uh, who also goes by Crank Gameplays. Uh, great content, by the way. If you haven't, go subscribe to him. Uh, but yeah, what was I saying? Right. Uh, they decided to do, for one year... A project where oh that was very windy uh for one year they were going to i still need rope uh they were going to make like put out one video a day for one year at the end of that year they were going to delete it all of it and there was a lot of quality content on there like it was some of the like most fun like content i feel like was on the internet at the time and yeah unfortunately it came to an end like they said it would uh when the uh one year hit they uh ended it all uh, that makes it sound like they killed themselves but i mean they did buy coffin so i don't know what is that did i make that oh god that seems uncomfortable but i mean like well yeah why didn't i just do Bunch up a bunch of plant fibers and make them. Oh, why the plastic? Oh, God. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, Unis Honest. It was a lot of fun. Just a really cool experiment. Not real. It was pretty much like no one else had done something like that up till then. So props to them for finding something unique in an age where like that sort of stuff is taken for granted. Like, really? It was interesting i guess so fresh water drink and yep okay uh but yeah i got my fishing rod back so let's do some fishing of course they all go over there uh-huh herring nice Ooh, some barrels. 
Just come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. Let me get something on the fire. Okay. So far, so good. Some palm leaves. Uh, not as good as I was hoping, but eh, it's all right. Let's see here. Nice. Uh, let's see if there's anything I can use to sort of... Uh, no. Uh, let's see. Uh, nails. I remember nails was something. Let's see. Oh, nice. Large trophy board. I can make those apparently now. Oh, there was a lot of stuff I could learn to make. Nice. Where did I get a potato? All right. Oh, I could use the potatoes to... Oh, yes. Okay, let me see. Yes, I can't... Okay, nice. I'm cooking. Or not... Why did I say cook it? But I'm planting... What is wrong with me? Ah, uh, yes. I love cooking outdoors. I can... Oh, God. Oh, no. don't understand the need to plant flowers and stuff in this game. I'm assuming maybe they're used for, like, dyes or something when I make, like, uh, clothes and stuff, but for now, eh, not really all that useful. Uh, let's see. I should be looking at, like, what I can make now. Automatic. Oh, God, that would be very useful. Yes. Okay, make a nail. And I need a lot of plant fiber. Why is it always plant fibers I need? Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, that's not much. I guess start making as many of them as I can. Uh... Oh, I could make... Uh-huh. Nice. Alright. Uh, still need two more rope. Okay. Okay, it's starting to come along. I said before, and then, like, I think, like, five minutes after that, I died. Uh, oh, God. Food. Uh, let's see. Cup. Okay, fresh water. Drink. Salt water. What's that? Herring, or uh, place this herring down, and eat this one. There we go, and barrel. Let me see if I can get this one all the way over here, and another raw potato. Nice. Oh yes, I made the. Sh I actually made the. Sh I did not expect that. I'm actually happy with myself. Just go, I don't have a spear. Okay, let's see here. What can I do? I can... I think I have enough. Let's see. Alright, uh, let's see here. Where did that... There it is. Okay, so... What the... Why did that just... No! I didn't mean to sleep. I don't mean to throw you away either. Okay. Oh, my inventory's full. Uh, let's see. Decoration. I mean, we're already... Uh, let's see. What do I want to get rid of? Uh, I guess I could eat the beet. I don't really, uh, think they're going to be very useful. Okay, let's see. Alright, so... Ah, okay. I get this now. Okay. So, let's put you here. And can I build, not at the moment, but, oh, what's this? A plank. Why did I throw away a plank? Okay, uh, come on. Nope. Okay. Still, this is going to be useful. 
Okay, let's see here. On plastic, nice. I want to uh, like protect that thing because I do not. I'm pretty sure that shark's going to try and destroy that. Like it's going to make a beeline for that if I don't have something protecting it. Nice. Oh god, that is just so so. Ah, they're hard to make though. It's gonna you. I forgot about the seagulls. Those are gonna be an issue, aren't they? Let's see. At least I'm getting enough potatoes. I think I might actually be able to make another one of those. Uh, what could I do with a bucket? Why do I want a bucket? Uh, let's see. What I do need is some more rope. That's what I need. There we go. Anything in here? The plastic. Nice. Can it only do the one item at a time? I have a feeling the answer is yes, but uh, even if it grabs just one thing, like that's still like kind of useful. That's kind of uh wish they weren't expensive to make in the beginning. Let's see here. Uh let's see. What can I craft? What where are you? I keep thinking I hear that frickin' shark. Let's see. Okay. Could I build a big one? I can, nice. I can actually probably, uh, okay, so that's there, and then I can build a smaller one, too. All right, let's see. You're right there. And where was the other one? Okay, there they are. Get some water balance going here, and... Then I can put the smaller one, like, right here. Okay. And let's see. Now that I can sort of, like, move around that. Wait, what did I put? Oh, right, the watermelon. Okay. Nice. Let me get some water. I'm starting to get kind of thirsty. Maybe I should make some more. I just drank the salt water. Alright. Uh, why is, oh, I'm probably out of uh, bait. Or not bait, but uh, fire. Nope, nope. I didn't mean to do that one. Come on, I need some wood. There we go. How do you only get one pl oh, I hate that shark. There we go. Uh, what was I doing? Uh, oh, right. I was going to check to see. Uh, let's see. Storage. Cannot make it. Alright. Fair enough. Let's see. Uh, Scarecrow. That's not going to be very useful. Uh, at least not at the moment, I don't think. Uh, research table. Already have that. Uh, Neil, what's wet brick? Can be placed on your raft to dry. Why would I want that? Oh, right. I was going to place another one of these right here. Then, place all these potatoes I've been getting. Harvest this one. Harvest that. Harvest you. Now, I am dying of thirst. Uh, 
Okay, let's see here. It really does feel like I'm constantly battling between, like, dying of thirst and hunger. But literally, like, I keep having to just constantly go back and just, oh, am I dying? Am I dying? Am I dying? <laughs> like, it's just, like, it's very hard, like, not to die in this game. At least just on your own. I don't know. Very unforgiving, I guess. Okay. But I think I'm doing okay, like, all things considered. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think I'm doing too bad. Just collecting some trash. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, can I grab these? Yes, I can. Nice. And I got a mackerel. Is that... Wait, isn't mackerel the one I wasn't able to uh, cook before? Nope, I can cook it. Nice. And... Planks. Go to fresh water. Boom. There. Salt water. Oh, what's this? Oh, plastic. I'm starting to run kind of low on, uh, let's see. Plastic cook. Yep. There we go. Let's see. What else can I make at the moment? I should be making a new spear, I realize. Uh, let's see. Make some rope. Where is that thing? I know he's here. I think that's enough, actually. Oh, uh, but that just gave me. Nope. Four more. Okay. Where did those come from? Hey, Sharky. I, I must have depth perception problems because it really does look like I hit some of these and then just, it just does not get it. Yeah, what, that one, it, I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to complain. I'm going to try not to complain much. Can I harvest these? Or they look done. Uh, let's see. I guess they're not done? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's it going to do? Right, the spear. I definitely need a spear. I thought might as well for that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I need to eat. Uh, okay, that. Yeah, like I was saying, like, I cannot drift off track even for a moment. It seems. Get out of here. Fresh water. Okay. That's a worse. Water crops. Alright. Okay. Wait, what did that... Oh, okay, that was probably the plank, wasn't it? I really do not have anything for those. Uh, let's see. Uh, trying to think. That I don't need. Nice, they're done. At at least those are. Uh, let's see here. Plant potatoes. And I guess I'll eat the others. Oh god, they don't do much, do they? Like, that's not gonna cut. 
like get me anything. These look done. Like, how do I harvest them? But, uh, I'm trying to think. Like, was it, uh, do I need the axe? Yep. Uh, okay, that's what it was. Or maybe it was just timing. I don't know. How many did it get? One pineapple. Oh, God. Wait, uh, maybe if I eat it, I get, like, pineapple. Oh, okay, so I get one, and then I get seeds as well. Okay, that is much better. And then the... Yeah, nice! I'm eating good for once, finally. Then, immediately use more of the seeds to grow more. And need some fresh water. Gotcha. Water the crops. Harvest you. Plant some more. And eat. Oop. There we go. Alright, doing pretty good. Got some goods. Ooh, that was actually a good one. Nice. Okay. And got it. Wait. Oh, <laughs> how long was that up there? Uh, okay. Uh, apparently, I activated by accident the uh, frame rate uh, monitor. Yeah, I have no idea how long that was up there. Whoops. I do not ha know how to get rid of that. So I guess, yeah, it's just locked at... Uh, Sick. Well, I mean, I automatically locked it. So, like I was saying earlier, I was having some troubles getting this uh, stream to run smoothly. One of the things I thought might help was running it at 60 FPS, and that seems to help quite a bit by the looks of it. So, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see here. Water. How are we looking on water? I need to put some in there. That's what I need to do. Okay, come on. Can I build another one of those? That would be very useful. Yes, I can. Nice. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, it was for paint. Get out of here! Come on, I need water. There we go. You, I. I'm not even gonna take it. You've already taken so much from me. Alright, uh, let's see here. Anything else need watering? Doesn't look like it, so I guess this is mine. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything to do at the moment. What can I craft? Uh, let's see here. A sail. A sail is something I have been wanting to make for a while. I just keep forgetting to. I also could use another throwable anchor. Uh, I don't know. But for the throwable anchor, I feel like, is not as important as the sail. I think the uh, sail should be the main objective. Stay away. Never mind. I feel like I should probably start working on that throwable anchor if I want to get to that island. So let's see. I need a rope. Uh, that's pretty... Yep, there we go. Where was it? 
Ah, God. Okay, there we are. So I got one for whenever we reach. Is this fresh or... Nope, that was salt water. Let's see. Uh, drink that. This here. Uh, it said I could harvest some of these. Like, which ones can I harvest? Oh, that. Okay. I really don't need the flowers. Like, that's just... Yeah, no. At least not now. I'm not really big on paint. Uh, let's see. What I am big on, though, is not dying. That would be, uh, very nice. Uh, let's see. The throwable anchor is gonna. I need to use it any second once I get in position. Okay, this is a small island, it looks like. Alright, come on, come on, come on! Alright, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, don't look behind me, 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 he is... Oh, God. How do I... Let's see. Don't want to be in water for any longer than I need to be. Oh, what the heck is this? What? What is this? This is new. I can't do anything with this one, though. Okay, so I think I understand. Like, I could, like, mine certain things down here. That's kind of neat. I'm going to constantly be on the lookout for the uh, shark, I guess. Uh, yeah, no, that's really neat. I like that. Let's see. But can I get up here? I don't care about flowers. I need food. Okay, that is good, 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 good. All right, not as much as I was hoping. Let's see. All right, uh, I assume there's fall damage. Let's see if water, okay, good. Nice, new watermelon. Yeah, okay. Can I build another one real quick, or no? Uh, maybe. Let's see, rope. There we go. Alright, uh, stone axe. I need two rope, never mind. Uh, there we are. Okay, so... Was it? There it is. Nope. Okay. Mango seed. Okay. And what about you? Oh, excuse me. I think I got this. Wow. Bad. Did not do much for my hunger. I was kind of expecting more. Okay. 
Uh, oh, good. Eat. Where's my... Oh, God, the plants. I forgot about the plants. I don't even care about the shark. I need to make sure my plants are okay. Oh, n <sighs> wait. Maybe that one was already... That one, I think, might have been already empty. Okay, I think we're fine. Pineapple does decently. All right. Let's see about... Growing some new crops. Wait. Mangoes cannot... Oh, maybe they're like a tree sort of thing. Yeah, that is weird. The mangoes can't be grown there. Okay. Get some soup. Alright, there we are. It's been a while since I've had to actually like cook food. Uh let's see here. Did I take off that uh anchor? I don't remember. Oh, there it is. There we are. All right, and we should be off now. <sighs> there we go. Alright, so 11, and in order to build a sail, I need 20, so I need 9 more. Hopefully I don't need something that requires an absurd amount of plant fiber real soon. Hopefully, like I, oh god, at night it makes it a little harder to tell what's what. Okay, so let's see. Uh, nope, that's a miss. There we go. Uh, did I grab anything there? Some wood, okay. I feel like this was not... There we go. Oh, uh, there we are. Okay, raw beet. I mean, great. Let's see. Raw beet. Does that mean I could cook it, maybe? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Nice. I feel like I probably should have thought that earlier. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... I honestly don't think of beets as, like, something to cook very often. Alright, there we are. That's not gonna hit anything. Might as well just grab that. There's that. Okay, how many? 14. Still need 6 more. Okay, 5 more. What's that blinking thing in the sky? Is that supposed to be a star? I don't know. Nothing in there. Oh, another island. If I'm able to find any plant fibers anytime soon, I could maybe build one and rock it over there. What? Yes. Two. Come on, just need one more. 
plastic, though. Maybe... Get out of here! Stay away. I think that's plant fiber. I missed, but it definitely is one. Okay, that should be enough. Okay. Yep. Alright. Making a sale. Nice. Get out of here. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> Holding. Oh. oh. There we go. Wait, do I have enough for a uh, plank? I just realized. Nope. Okay. Uh, plant fibers. Come on. Oh, God. I'm going towards the island, and there's nothing. Oh, wait, there's stuff. Nice. Okay, let's see here. How many... Okay, so I... Ah, oh, stone. I don't have stone. Maybe if I'm quick, I could... Nope, that's not going to come anywhere near that. Nope. Well, at least I'm getting close to the island. And my watermelons are almost done. Let's see. This is kind of nice, though. Hey, eh, if I die, at least I come back to a decent enough setup. At least I think so. All right. Come on. Oh, God, he was waiting for me. All right, let's see here. Okay, so I got some time, I think. Let's do some exploring, I guess. Craft in sight. flowers. At least it seems to be staying still. That's good. see here. I'm not really seeing too, too much, honestly. Else. Okay, the, I think it's starting to go in the wrong direction. I definitely need to hurry back. 
Uh, oh god, what just happened there? That was not supposed to happen. Oh! What, yeah, what is going... Oh, okay. I don't know if that's getting across in the stream, but something weird's going on with the, uh... Camera. Or not the camera, but the, uh, weather. On. And we are alive. Okay, let's see here. Uh, what should I get rid of? Yellow seeds. Be gone with you. Alright, nice. Let's look into getting these planted again. Only the one? Okay, so it's not always guaranteed. That is unfortunate. Wait, oh god, it was... Okay, so it does work while I'm gone. You, uh, I hate you. Alright, uh, let's see, what was I doing? That's... What should I do? In these blue seeds. I don't want them. Uh, palm seeds, I don't really have a use for those. Ah, oh, god, I'm running out of seeds, so. Wait, did that give me no. Uh... Okay, I'm starting to run out of uh, seeds, that's not good. I thought those would uh, always be a thing. Apparently not. Oh yeah, the cooked beet. How are those? Those give a lot more. Oh, I should have been cooking beets a long time ago. All right. Ah, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Not much. Where did everything go? Like, I'm not getting anything. Ah, uh, no materials. There's, like, something over there, but... I don't really... I don't know. Like, what? yeah, where is everything? The world suddenly just became a lot more empty. Is it because of the... Waves? I don't know. You yeah, know. Uh, I don't know. It's still, like, I think... You know what? I'm going to, uh... Yeah, and save. I'm not ending the stream here, but I think, like, I might call it here for the raft. It's, uh... I don't know. I'm liking it. I really am. It's just maybe not the best game, I feel, to be streaming by yourself. I think maybe I might see if I can round up some friends to uh, play it next week. But uh, if that's not the case, then I do not think I'll be playing this a second time. Unfortunately. It's a good game. I think I will be playing it more on my personal schedule. But, like, I... Having to stream and then play this at the same time is sort of, I don't know, sort of difficult, I guess. I I don't want to stay silent and just keep playing, but every time I sort of start talking and stuff, like, I keep forgetting what I'm supposed to be doing and just, uh, just messing things up, I guess. I don't know. It's no one's fault but my own. Maybe once I get more used to streaming, I'll be better at multitasking and stuff, like speaking and focusing on tasks and stuff, but for now, uh, not too, too much. Uh, but yeah, still a little ways to go before the end of the stream. I might call this one a little earlier than usual, but I don't know. I kind of want to talk at least a bit more. That was probably the most fun I've had this stream. Uh, oh god, who have I become? I'm actually drinking. Not alcohol, just water, but... 
just drinking on stream is just like, oh god. Let's see. Uh, interesting stuff. Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy. I really want to play that game. I kind of want to play it on stream too. It's a game. I have seen quite a bit of it. But I've seen pretty much the entirety of the base game, so like I know what to expect, unfortunately, so it wouldn't be a blind playthrough. But it's coming out with DLC. I really want to play that game. I think like I might try and stream it, but hold on, actually. I want to look this up. Let's see. Stream. Uh, store. Uh, come on. Stranger of Paradise. Nope, it is not on Steam. I'm assuming it's probably not a uh, Steam game or a PC game, which is unfortunate, which means I'm going to have to trigger, try and figure out how streaming on PlayStation works. Which, I mean, like have, I know how streaming on PlayStation works. I used to stream a little bit on PlayStation like years and years ago. Uh, but streaming with a VTuber avatar, that could be tricky. I'm assuming I'll probably have to like hook it up to my computer and get them connected. May get some special software. Sounds like a lot of, uh, effort, but I'll look into it. Like I, it, I, I really do want to play Stranger Paradise on stream. So if I can get that working, like it'd be worth it. And it would open up like quite a few like other games I could try and play like, uh, god of war ragnarok that game i really want to play when it comes out so yeah that would be useful like if i can get that hooked up and then stream it for everyone like that'd be fun like I'd, yeah i'll look into that i will i really will look into that uh but let's see while i'm on steam what is it trying to sell me today uh let's see iron oath nope uh ready or not i am not Dinkin. That's a weird one. SRPG Studio. I'm guessing that's like a fantasy RPG sort of like knockoff or something. Uh, not a whole lot. It's really trying to uh, recommend to me. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, no, not really anything like I'm in the uh, super mood for. Uh, ooh. Um, back on YouTube again, but so I don't know how many people are familiar like with this series nowadays, but I am a huge fan of Rooster Teeth's Red vs. Blue. I'm not an original. I didn't start watching it until like I was uh, first year of college. I uh, started watching it immediately fell in love with it. It's probably one of my favorite like web based series. It is at its peak, very good. That being said, Red vs. Blue hasn't been at its peak for a while. Like, I don't know. Like, I know, like, a lot of people, like, really harp on the latest season of RVB Zero, which I will say it's not good, unfortunately, but I appreciate the effort that went into it. And, the like, I like that they were trying to do something new because Red vs. Blue has basically been a series since I was, like, a little, like, baby. <laughs> like, I, like, it's been around for a long, long time. And there's only so much you can do before you start running out of ideas, which the series kind of was... So I understand the desire to sort of want to start up with a brand new cast of characters and try some new things out, but it really didn't work. And I think that really has to do with who they chose to like maintain the series with Zero. Uh, I forget his exact name, but hold on, I'll actually look it up. Uh, RVB Zero. Uh, let's see was his title head not headcan let me just do rvb zero see what that pops up with uh let's see here nope nope that is the rooster teeth do not want to potentially have some sound pop up 
Okay, the fandom. The fandom never steers you wrong. Torian Crawford, I think that was his name, yeah. Yep, that's him. Torian Crawford. This was, like, his first time, I think, like, writing and directing and stuff. And I think it does really show. Like, before this, Torian uh, was apparently, I believe, uh, mainly involved as an animator for uh, Death Battle. Which is uh, another good series under uh, RV, uh, Rooster Teeth's belt. But you can really tell he is a person who's mostly used to uh, just doing sort of like one-liners and creating impressive fight scenes. I do really appreciate that our Rooster Teeth like let him sort of like try and express himself through a different project. I just kind of wish they'd maybe like either let him like create his own sort of uh, project to sort of like grow his talents or something before giving him like the series that basically allowed Rooster Teeth to be what it is today. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just holding RVB on too high of a pedestal. But I do kind of wish it had sort of like a bit more reverence, apparently, within the company. And I, I don't know. I feel bad for Torian. Like, he really was stepping, like, on some very delicate ground. And I really hope he does do... Ah, I'm just reading his... We He left Ruth Strate... Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Torian. Like, I... Ah, that really sucks. I really, like, I don't know. I really do hope uh, that really sours it a little bit for me. Yeah, I... Torian, I really hope you're doing well. It looks like you went on to Respawn Entertainment. Hopefully you're doing good there. I really do, like, I really do hope you, like, l create something just wonderful one day. Because I really do think he has the potential to do so. Uh, I just... I don't know. That really does suck that he left the company because he probably like got a lot of harassment after RVB Zero. And like I don't know, there are good things about RVB Zero. Like the Shatter Squad. Like there's some interesting characters. Like the fights. Like Torian really does do a incredible job with those. And I don't know. Like there are some good things there. Like it's. A good first attempt, I think. I really do wish he, like, had stuck around and, like, tried again, but I don't know. Like, fingers crossed, like, that doesn't discourage him from trying something else. Because it looks like he's just back to being just sort of, like, a cinematic animator, which kind of sucks. I don't know. I hope, like, the best for him. Like, he really should, uh... I don't know. He just seems like a really cool guy like i remember seeing him on death battle podcast and like i don't know like i i always i i very rarely have a negative op opinion on anyone that's why like whenever someone asks me like oh what's this guy like i usually say like, oh he, he they're cool like uh they're re they're really cool they're really cool dudes uh i i very rarely have something bad to say really but i don't know but like, i really do think torian is a pretty cool guy like i've never seen anything that would make me like unthink that like yeah no i wish the best for him but yeah no uh what was i talking about originally uh, about rvb that got oh right so uh a while back rooster teeth made a decision that i pretty disagree with and that was to take ruby and rvb Pretty much off of YouTube in their entirety to try and encourage more people to flock to their own website and maybe, uh, perchance, buy the Red vs. Blue subscription, which I thought was a really stupid move. Like, I get it. You want to try and make, like, Rooster Teeth is a company that is out to make money, and a good way to make money is to get people to buy your subscription service uh, in order to create a good monthly revenue. The problem with that, though, is it's rather than creating new content to flock to that service, it is taking content that had been free for years upon years upon years and then blockading it off sort of on your own personal site. 
and I don't even know if like it was just like the latest content or all of it. Like I really didn't look go. Oh, I didn't go to RVB or Rooster Teeth to watch that. Like I own like the first five volumes of Ruby on uh, Blu-ray. I own like all of the red versus blue stuff i want to watch on blu-ray like i had other sources of watching that sort of stuff so i was not going to rv uh rooster teeth to like rewatch and stuff like that i was just going to rewatch from my own collection but yeah no i really think it was a stupid move and i guess uh rooster teeth sort of uh it's coming to that realization because they've been slowly uh re-uploading that stuff uh over the uh, last few months. Uh, they've got pretty much all of uh, RVB up there, and they've sort of started working on uh, the sort of like side projects, sort of compiling those. I don't know if they've done the same with Ruby. Uh, hold on, I'll actually try checking Ruby. Let's see what pops up. Ruby Volume 1 complete, official trailer, the chapter one, uh okay so it looks like for their pretty much the most part except for like the first chapter ruby is still pretty much completely off of uh youtube except for someone who created a compilation of what looks to be just the uh first volume which is pretty unfortunate like i know ruby is like the uh current love child of uh rooster teeth but come on at least leave up like the stuff montium put up on there i don't know what is this uh oh right the last of us okay i am actually kind of looking forward to that so last of us it's probably like one of my favorite like playstation games out there i'm not a big fan of uh last of us part two like i think it made like some pretty poor choices in terms of the uh story like uh I love all the performances, uh, the actors, all the people who worked on it, I'm sure are hardworking. It's just the story really drags down that game for me. Uh, but the first game is magnificent. It is like very close to perfect, in my opinion. And they are rebuilding it. Like, as far as I'm aware, it's not a remake, it's not a remaster. They are pretty much just, yeah, pretty much rebuilding the game from the ground up for PlayStation 5. And it looks good. It re looks really, really good. Like, I've seen some of the trailers. Like, it is, I'm really looking forward to it. Like, I don't normally, like, go for the uh, remasters or stuff. But this one, like, I think it's worth it. Like, even if it's, like, it's going to be the same story. And, like, even though it is a rebuilding, they're going to try and match it to the original game, like, as much as possible by the looks of it. But they are just doing a magnificent, like, that game. It just, just sort of, like, steal something from Angry Joe. That looked good. That, that looks very good, in my opinion. Like, I really, I just, I want it. I really want to play it. It looks amazing. It's taking a game that I thought could not get any better and just pretty much putting the icing on the cake. I think they might have... Wait. So they just put out another trailer for it like 24 hours ago. And I'm not... Like, I'm just watching little snippets on YouTube. Did they redo some of the mocap? That'd be very cool. Like, I don't know. Add some more animations and stuff. That could be fun. I don't know. I'm I'm looking forward to it. I really am looking forward to it very much. Uh, but let's see. Uh, I don't know. Uh, to be honest, guys, I'm thinking I'm going to uh, maybe call it here a little early tonight. I know I haven't been streaming as long as I used to. I usually try and hit the three hour mark, but yeah, no, I uh, my throat's getting really dry uh raft it's a lot of fun but i'm having a really really hard time focusing on gameplay and also like providing commentary at the same time well by commentary i mean meaningful commentary like literally my brain like whenever i'm like running in the game it's just trying to just spew words out while trying to do just the 
basics of trying to survive. Like, it is, like, a game I feel like you really have to focus on survival if you don't want to die, like, every five minutes, unless you have, like, a team there sort of helping you out. Very hard game for single player. Like, oof. Maybe I should have chosen an easier difficulty. I don't know. I was just going for what I thought was normal. But yeah, no. I think I might call it here a little early. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'll try and maybe, like, next stream go a little bit longer. Hopefully, like, if uh, I can uh, wrangle some friends, I'll play Raft again. And fingers crossed, it's a more enjoyable uh, experience. And yeah, if I can, I'll try and go a bit longer for you guys. But... For now, I think I'm going to end it here. So, uh, thank you for anyone who uh, popped in, even if it was just for a few seconds, to uh, watch the stream. Uh, as always, I'm going to re-upload it to YouTube. There, uh, I'll provide maybe a, a link to... Uh... Oh, God, what was their stream? I am I am so sorry. Like, I, it's just been... I've been focused on so much... Uh, afterwards like i'm just uh yeah oh god i'll i'll re uh i'll find her uh tweet again and then i'll post like maybe in the discord her uh twitter and uh if i can find like her uh twitch as well put that there so if you guys want to show support to her at some point in the future like be sure to do that uh i'll also of course as always be including the uh artists who created the assets which i used to uh compile into this uh model which i currently use so if you like anything i am currently using uh be sure to check that out and uh yeah i hope uh you guys had fun i did i i really did like, it feels like i was doing like i'm saying a lot of negative stuff about the game and stuff like at the end like oh i wasn't having fun like this was uh Ugh. but no like this was fun it's just like it's a little difficult for me is all like focusing on the game and like trying to provide good commentary at the same time right now like uh with wilder myth like it was a bit easier because like that game was like all sort of like text and stuff and like had constantly different stuff just popping off and stuff but raft like it's it's different but i it's a different sort of like i don't know i i'm having trouble describing it i'm sorry but yeah no i i do hope that you guys did have fun uh and yeah uh i'll be sure to uh, uh stream again next week this video will be uploaded to youtube by wednesday hopefully oh god like it just getting these things onto youtube like how is it that when i was posting videos in high school to youtube and the experience of posting videos now did not get any better. If anything, it's gotten slightly worse. Like, my God. I am waiting for a video to upload for, like, an entire, like, two days before it finally finishes processing. Like, what? You could, like, you've had years, YouTube, to get this stuff down pat. How? Like, it's just, oh, God. I don't know. Like, I'm sorry, guys. Like, I'm ranting and, like, I'm trying to end this. But, like, it's just, like, YouTube, come on. People rely on you for their wages. You can't... You've had years and years to make this even a fraction of a bit better. It is almost the exact same experience it was years ago. Like, how is that... I don't know. Like, ah, uh, YouTube. But I love it, but there are parts of it I really hate. But yeah. Uh, watch for the video on Wednesday. Hope to see you there. And, yeah, uh, this has been nice. I hope everyone has a wonderful night. Get some good sleep, and I hope everyone has a good weekend. Talk to you guys later.